Hi guys, thank you for watching my latest Virtual Pool 4 video. Please get subscribed. Anyone who wants to leave a comment, I love receiving them. And today we are playing, uh, excuse me, we're playing Bobby in a race to seven at nine ball. So uh, strap up and let's go. <clears throat> oh, I thought that four was in, but the six is, yes. Now let's have a look at the cluster. Now clearly, we need to put the one with a view of leaving an angle off the two to put the three into the four. Does that make sense? Because if we don't, we can't put the four. I don't think, or we can, but it's too dodgy. So we need to get behind the four near the nine. So we'll just aim to scoot the white down near the nine. Hit the nine, fine. Now here, what I'm trying to do is roll it as if I'm missing the pot. That's not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, that wasn't what I wanted. Uh, now here, if you look at the line of the ball, the line between the pocket, you see that? The line goes into the pocket between the balls. That means that hitting that into the ball, that three has to go in. And then we can spin the white round for the, for the orange, unless I do something really bad like that. Uh, now here I'm going to just try and pot the seven. That was an essential bounce, and then just roll this down the cush, just about, and then a two cushion shape on the um, on the off the eight. Get off that jaw. That'll do us. Well worked out. <clears throat> That's a fun pool, you just work these little things out, little plans. Always good fun. That two should go in if it gets past the five. A little bit of check side just to, I was going to say take the nine out of the equation, but I haven't. I got a tad lucky there. That wasn't what I wanted at all, that was way off. I wanted it to be much further around in the middle of the table, but didn't happen, but I still should be okay. Um, bit of a screw back here. And now here I just need to sort of pot it. I don't need to really do anything, so I'm just gonna nail this in. There's this shot here that's the fun one. And here I'm just gonna go for the, get it on the other side cushion. No theatrics, because if I start doing that, I'll end up over the other side of the table again. Glide this one past the nine, that's all I'm thinking there. And then here it's just, any screw backs are bonus, don't need a lot. And then an easy nine down the cush. A two nil. So done and dusted. And we're looking for any friends. Any friends, no friends, please cover the one. <laughs> That's the thought process. Well, unlucky there. Ooh, just missed. Now do I go for the combo here? I think I probably do, because I can line it up. Yes, then you overcut it, you idiot. Stop taking combos, Malcolm. Don't like this much, you know, but I'll tell you why. Because the in-off is very, very, like a magnet. Bounce, bounce. I know for a good player, it should be okay just to land on that but I always feel like the pocket just draws you in it's like a black hole now here I'm probably gonna have to go once across <clears throat> uh, stun this one out anywhere a cushion hitting near the middle bag and I'm on it like that. Roll it through. And 3 nil. Hmm. Tempted to do the double here, you know. Ah, why not? Uh, 
I'm not so tempted to play that now. I'm going to play safe now. I know you might think that's crazy given what I've just done, but. Oh, that's a great shot. I'm loving that. <clears throat> so now here we're probably going to have to make a touch on the four, are we? No, we're not actually. That's interesting. So we don't have to do anything here. Like just make sure we pot it into the corner of the bag. Like that. So it's. Sometimes it's worth a look because that looked like it was frozen solid, and if that was the case, then obviously I couldn't um, couldn't do anything. So thankfully I could. So yeah, it's been a straightforward start here. The balls have just opened nicely and it's potted well, and balls are going in on the break, which makes life so much easier in nine ball. So much easier. All right. We're just going to try and get the blue in this, this centre bag next. So we're just going for somewhere near, near the bulk line would be nice. I've actually under hit that compared to what I went for, but I still think we're okay. We're within what's called the margin for error. And again, we're forced to play harder shots because of a compounded error. That might be a fluke. No. Got a bit lucky where that landed, so everything's going in our favour this time. That could be a genius shot. Well, if that ball wasn't there, it would have been. We're going to go for the pot here, just instinct. Again, we've not well. We haven't got lucky this time because it's going to be on. Um, and again, you can sometimes hit these too hard, but you just want to be on the other side of the table. Accept a little bit of distance. Now here I'm going to open these balls up because again I'm confident I can pot the the five and land on it. And again here I just want to hit the cushion and go upwards, and I'll be honest. And then it's just a case of lining up properly. And oh, again, a very skewed rack. I of these in the last game. And we're getting a couple of balls down here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Uh, now, the problem here is the five. Not really sure what to do with it. I think I've got to play for the double. It seems odd to play for the double. I would like to play the sort of the top spin off that like that and then back into it, but the top spin hits a nine. I think I've got to play. I think I've got to play the screw back to leave the double, and if I get the double, it's probably game. Well, I've set myself up for a fall now. <laughs> now here you've got to screw out a little bit. If you don't, you're not going to be able to jump out for the nine. Oh yeah, bugger. I nearly messed that up. I played that badly. <clears throat> Six nil. And uh, wow. This match could well be one of the most clinical I've played. It's all about this shot. Even early doors in the rack. I mean, look at that shot. Again, not an easy shot here. That, that orange is like a planet. Uh, probably just come back to somewhere near on the line of the nine really and then just roll this in full focus on the pot it's a bit overcut actually compared to what I'm used to And this, guys, is one of the most clinical wins I've had on VP4. Boom. Whitewash first one and a really good win. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Very instructive. Um, very, very instructive match. And we had three breaking runs, but, yeah, very, very clinical there. Not even sure if I missed a ball in that match. Don't know, but not many if I did. 
So I hope you enjoyed it guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon for some more videos.